cortisol. Um, we've got a question saying, how can I reverse my cortisol? I've done too much fasting. Is it reversible? Is that an actual thing? Cortisol is a stress hormone and it's gotten a really negative rap. So when we're looking at cortisol, it's essential that we have a cortisol rise. When we, Wakes you up. It does wake you up. Our dip allows us to give feedback mechanisms that we're starting to wind down for the day. It also keeps us from um, getting into accidents. Say there's the light that suddenly turns red and you're driving, you slam on the brakes, you have a cortisol rush because now you're suddenly alert. These are really important. When we talk about um, low energy availability and we talk about uh, too much high intensity training that isn't true high intensity. We talk about fasted workouts. All of these are significant stress to the body. So yes, you're going to have an increase in cortisol. What we want to do is have a subsequent response that brings it down. So we can do that through parasympathetic activation, through non-sleep deep breaths, yoga nidra, uh, massage, dark lights, mindful breathing. Less work. Yes, less work, decreasing stress. <laughs> um, the other thing is true high intensity work that we've talked about before, where you're actually hitting 80% or more, because if you're doing true high intensity, then the subsequent response post-exercise is growth hormone and testosterone release that then counters cortisol. So if you think about how your resting heart rate starts getting lower and lower, the fitter you get, the more you have that counter to a cortisol response, the lower your baseline cortisol comes. So it's not something that we have to look at as, how do I stop cortisol? How do I really flatline it? Because we don't want that. But if you have continuously been in a sympathetic drive in a stress state, then yes, your baseline cortisol is going to be elevated. So we have to look at all of the things that are causing stress, and fasting is one of those things.